Hi, my name is Fadel Albayati, Business Development Manager at Matrox Graphics. Today, we're showing a demo of the new product called the Quad Head To Go. Quad Head To Go is a multi-monitor controller that comes in appliance and PCI Express card format. It takes one input and chops it up into four individual smaller pieces. The four pieces, which we call the four outputs, are completely independent one from the other. What we mean by that is that each output has its own res resolution, rotation, cropping, scaling, and positioning value. The settings on one output don't affect the settings on any other output. Like previously mentioned, we have an appliance and a PCI Express card format. The difference between the two is that the card format is system independent. It only takes power from the PCI Express slot. The, the difference is that each connector is a mini version of the connector, so mini display port input and mini HDMI outputs while on the appliance, it's standard full-size DisplayPort and full-size HDMI connectors. Both have an RJ45 for command and control purposes and also to do any firmware updates in the future to make uh, you know, use of new features that come out in the upcoming releases. In terms of firmware and software, both products are exactly the same, so the feature set on one product is equivalent to the feature set of the other SKU. Both also have buttons, so even though the appliance is more likely for you to use the buttons, there are still buttons on the PCI Express card that also behave in exactly the same way. So the quad head to go here is doing an artistic video wall where output one and four are left in landscape, two and three are rotated 90 degrees, and they each are taking an independent section of the uh, incoming signal, so the incoming input. There's also data that's here and data that's here, but through the Powerwall software, we can configure uh, our, uh, our quad head to go to only take the selected areas, and this is the result that we see. Buttons one, two, and three have some value in terms of making the product easy, or easy to use and easy to troubleshoot. For example, button one is what we call an input cycler. Now, input cycler leads you to believe that there's many inputs, but there's only one input on the product. What happens if you, the source that you have is not available to you yet, or if the source is problematic? You can stop capturing the source and load different images that are available to you on the product. For example, you can load a logo, you can load bezel management patterns, you can load different colors, and we'll go through each one right now. So by pressing button one, you get a list of inputs or images available to you. Obviously, one of them is the DisplayPort 1.2 input, which is the default state. But we can load, for example, a logo by pressing button one to get the entire list and pressing button one one more time to go down by one. It times out and applies the last selection. By pressing button one again, you get the list again and you can go down. So let's load bezel management grid. So this one lets you adjust the bezel value of your displays. So here, 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 anywhere that you see fit. The outputs, of course, don't have to be touching each other. So imagine there was a big gap here. It's really helpful to be able to tell if the bezel management is correctly aligned. So we see here that we have appropriately uh, put the, the bezel values for, this, for these monitors. So you see the green, the red, the purple, and blue lines are correctly aligned, as well as the white and black lines here. By pressing button one again, we go back to the list and we can load different colors that are available to us. So red, green, blue, and gray gradients are just some of the images that we have. And this allows you to tell if the monitors have the same settings, so the same color saturation on each one of the displays. It doesn't do the color calibration for you, but it helps you to find out if there is any problems that you need to adjust on the monitor or output side. So you see green is there. blue and lastly the gray gradient now by pressing button one again you can go back up the list and go to what we call video input which is again your display port 1.2 incoming signal and it loads back the configuration that you had button two it's what we call a configuration cycler. So by default, without even opening the Matrox Powerwall software or without using any of our REST API to configure the products, you have 15 configurations out of Matrox that are all rectangular. So for example, one by four, one by three, one by two, 
four by one, three by one, two by one, clone and portrait and landscape that gets you to 15. Also, of course, the standard two by two. So button two gives you the entire list of configuration that's been saved on the product. So if you've never edited or modified this product, you're gonna get 15. In our case, what we did is we opened Powerwall previously, we modified some settings, we added new configurations. So the new list will be reflected of these changes that we made. So you can go down the list and select the one that you want to apply. Obviously, if I let it go, it's gonna time out after three seconds and make the new, the new configuration get applied. If there is, for example, a change that is required on the sources side. So for example, let's say I put a four by one and I expect the source to be giving me a 7680 by 1080 signal, then of course the appropriate changes need to be made on the source as well. So here in our case, we went back to the configuration that we had and we have applied it correctly. Button three is an information or, or uh, you know, information provider, if you would like to call it that way. So it gives you the IP address of the product. It gives you the incoming resolution, outgoing resolutions, the MAC address, firmware versions, whether HDCP is on or off, whether bezel management is on or off, and things like that. Anything to tell you if the configuration that you have set is correctly set or if it needs some adjustment. So you can tell that the, the, the information is provided on all four outputs. It also tells you which output is one, two, three, and four. And whether any changes need to be made. Button three is the only button that actually needs a manual intervention to take it down again. So by pressing button three one more time, you recover the configuration. The reason for that is because this quality to go can be installed behind the monitors, in the ceiling, in a server room somewhere. And we wanna allow you enough time to press button three, walk in front of the monitors before coming back and disabling the button. If you have any more information, please look at our website at matrox.com graphics.